Hey, what is up guys? As I promised all of you, here is the video where I will show you how to withdraw money from interactive brokers using the WISE multi-currency account, which will save you a lot of money, especially if you don't have a bank account from the following currencies that interactive brokers support. And after that, I will also show you the cost comparison against the CMB Singapore plus WISE method. And at the very end of this video, I will list out a few keynotes and takeaways that you need to know before you go ahead with this withdrawal method. I appreciate it if you can help me smack the like button down below. It helps me to create better content for you guys. Thank you very much. So with Without further ado, let's jump right into today's content. The first step is pretty simple, but you will need a WISE multi-currency account to begin with. If you don't have that account yet, no worries, check out this video guide, you can sign up and start using it within 5 minutes. Okay, coming back here, for the purpose of this demo, I will be withdrawing US dollars from interactive brokers back into this account since most of us are invested in the US market. But feel free to do the same for any other currencies. It should be more or less the same. Click into your US dollar balance and obtain your US dollar account details. Look for the one under inside the US, which should give you information on your name, routing number, account number, account type, and wise address. For your information, we will be withdrawing using the bank wire method, which will incur a fixed fee of $7.50 for each withdrawal just so you are aware of it. Why not use the ACH method? Well, I will explain that to you in the next step. So screenshot this page or write it down somewhere. You will need to use this in just a bit. Yo! Now, step two, you will need to create wire information inside your interactive broker's account. Log into your IBKR account, then click into the withdraw button. You will then land on this page asking you to select the currency you want to withdraw. So as I've mentioned before, I'm going to show you how to withdraw United States dollar USD. You will then have two options down below, bank wire and connect your bank via ACH. Now, we will be using the first option, bank wire. But I'm sure many of you will be asking why not the second option, connect your bank via ACH, right? Well, that's because you will be asked to log into the US bank account held by WISE under your name. For example, in my case, it falls under Evolve Bank and Trust and I do not have the e-teller ID and password to begin with. I've confirmed this with WISE support which I'm sure most of you guys will appreciate this. I have asked them whether it's possible to obtain a login ID and password for Evolve Bank and Trust so that I can withdraw from interest brokers and they reply that there are no locking credentials from WISE that I can use for my US dollar balances account and that CFSB or Evolve banks won't be able to give you any information because you don't have an account directly with them. So there you go, I hope this clears your doubt as to why we cannot use the ACH method for withdrawal. It's a bummer but it is what it is. So for now, let's just choose the bank wire method by clicking the use this method button. For your information, IBCARA allows you to withdraw once a month for free and any subsequent withdrawals will incur a fee of 10 US dollars. Not the worst thing after all, I seldom hear about people withdrawing that often anyways. Anyways, let's fill in the form on the right hand side. Where will the funds be deposited? Choose bank. And then for bank country, choose United States since we are withdrawing to wise US dollar account right your options will expand then under the receiving bank click the search button this box will pop up asking you to search by bank name choose no and for the ABA routing number fill in the ABA routing number from your wise account details mine will be a nine digit number starting from 084 it will then pop up receiving bank name as evolve bank and trust according to wise if your ABA routing number starts with 084 just like mine it will be evolve bank and trust but if yours start with 0 026, it will be Community Federal Savings Bank, CFSB. Moving on, for the bank account number, fill in the super long account number from your wise account details. Should be a 16 digit number. Confirm bank account number, just fill in the same 16 digit number. Moving downwards, account nickname. Fill in anything that you want, it's just a nickname. I named mine wise USD. And lastly, for bank slash institution account holder, I just leave it as it is. Review everything carefully once again, make sure it matches your wise account details and when you are done, click save bank information. You will land on this page, double check it, then fill in your IBKR username and password to confirm, then click continue. Once you have received this success page, you have just completed this step. No worries, you don't have to repeat this step in the future once you have set this up. But as a good habit, just double check the wise account details in the future in case they change it for whatever reason. Yo! 
Now you can start withdrawing money from your interactive brokers account. Go back to the withdraw button and you should land on this page with your newly created wise USD details appearing here. Just click use this account. You will be asked how much you want to withdraw, fill in any amount that you want but just keep in mind that your USD cash needs to be settled before you can withdraw and that settlement period can take up to T plus 1 or T plus 2 days after you sell your stocks or convert your currency just so you know. For this demo, I will withdraw 100 US dollars just to show you the process. If you just want to withdraw this amount for once, ignore the box below it, then click create withdrawal. It will ask you to confirm your wire withdrawal. Again, fill in your username and password, then click confirm withdrawal. Once done, you should receive this confirmation message stating your wire withdrawal for X amount has been submitted. There is nothing else you need to do now except waiting for it. If you are curious, you can look into your transaction status and history tab and you should see the withdrawal status that we have created just now is under review, which means it is being processed. In my case, I requested for this 100 US dollars withdrawal on the 4th of December, which is a Saturday and I got my money in my wise US dollar account on the 6th of December which is a Monday. So all in all, that is about one business day of processing. Pretty fast if you ask me. Now, as I've mentioned before, there will be a fee of $7.50 per withdrawal. So for my 100 US dollars, I ended up getting $92.50 after the fee, as you can see over here. And yes, I just spent $7.50 withdrawing just to make this content for you guys. So I hope that is enough for you guys to smack the like button below for me. Thank you very much for that. Okay, that is all for this step. You have successfully withdrawn money from your interactive broker's account. Yo! Now, the US dollar that you have just withdrawn is in your wife's account. Depending on what you want to do with it, you can either keep it in there or withdraw it to your local bank account up to you. For the purpose of this demo, I will show you how I withdrew this US dollar amount from WISE back into my Malaysian Ringgit bank account. In your US dollar balance, click into the send button below your USD amount. If you are wondering why I only have 10 US dollar left, well, I forgot to screenshot my withdrawal steps and so I had to quickly reload another 10 US dollars just to show you the exact steps. Oh well, anything for you guys. Anyways, if you are withdrawing this US dollar amount back to your local 9 US dollar bank account, click into the international button. As for currency here, I will choose Malaysian Ringgit MYR. You will be able to see there is a small fee applicable here, then click continue. Who are you sending money to? If you have never set up your local bank account on WISE, click into myself. For Malaysians, you have the choice of do it now or local bank account. In this case, I will show you how to withdraw to local bank accounts like CIMB, RHB, Public Bank, Maybank, and etc. Fill in your full name, then choose your bank code or your bank's name. For me, I will be withdrawing it to my CMB bank account. And lastly, fill in your Malaysian bank account number. Then click confirm. Payment purpose, it doesn't really matter. I just went for others. It will then ask you to review details of your transfer. Double check everything and at the reference tab below, fill in anything that you want. It doesn't really matter. Tick the box and click confirm and send. You will then land on this page showing your transfer has started and that your money is on its way and should arrive in two minutes. So give it a few minutes and check back your Malaysian bank account you should see your money pretty quickly and congratulations you have just completed this wise withdrawal tutorial Yo! now this section is dedicated mainly for my malaysian audience and if you guys have been following me for quite a while now you know that i always back my video with facts and numbers anyways i will be comparing this withdrawal cost against the cmb singapore plus wise method which I'm sure most of you guys are already familiar with. This first table shows you the process of withdrawing US dollar from interactive brokers back into my Malaysian Ringgit bank account. For whatever amount of USD you withdraw from IBKR, it will incur a fixed fee of $7.50 charged by WISE, which ends up in this amount in your WISE US dollar balance. And to withdraw that money back into my Malaysian bank account, I will need to pay a variable fee in US dollar that I have cross-checked on WISE website in case you are skeptical with it. And then on the rightmost column, you will get the following amount in Malaysian Ringgit. For the second table, this is the withdrawal process flow for the CIMB Singapore plus WISE method. Before you can withdraw any amount from IBKR to CIMB Singapore, you will first need to convert that US dollar to Sing dollar cash at a 2 US dollar conversion fee. And then I can perform local transfer from interactive brokers to my CIMB Singapore account, which is free since they are both denominated in Sing dollar. 
and to withdraw that sing dollar back into my malaysian bank account i will need to again pay a variable fee in sing dollar to wise before i get the following amount in my ringgit bank account so if i compare the end result for the both methods where method one is the wise wire withdrawal method and method two is the cmb singapore plus wise withdrawal method you can see that it is actually better to use method two which is the cmb singapore method for withdrawals below the break even point of around 2000 us dollars this is obviously because of the seven dollar fifty cents us dollar fixed fee charged by wise for each withdrawal and you will only be able to enjoy the cost savings benefit using the withdrawal method shown in this video if and only if you withdraw more than around 2000 us dollars from your interactive brokers account which is roughly equivalent to 8400 ringgit or roughly 2700 sing dollar as of the recording of this video i hope this result helps you but allow me to elaborate further in the following section So let me wrap up this video with a few very important notes and summary so that you are not left confused when you walk away from this video. The first thing I want to mention is if you are from Malaysia and you have a CIMB Singapore account, you will only enjoy cost savings using this wise withdrawal method if and only if you withdraw more than around 2000 US dollars from your interactive brokers account. That said, it doesn't mean that this method is bad. This wise withdrawal method is far easier and faster for almost everyone around the globe, even if you don't have a CMB Singapore account or just any bank account with a currency that IBKR supports. So for what it's worth, it is still a very solid choice for withdrawal. Thirdly, the holding limit of the wise multi-currency account is 20,000 ringgit for Malaysians and it might be different if you are from any other country. If you withdraw more than 20,000 ringgit equivalent from interactive brokers, or roughly 5,000 US dollars, you will still be able to hold it in your WISE account, but you will have seven days to withdraw the excess money to your bank account. If not, your WISE account will be frozen. I have not tried withdrawing that huge of an amount yet, but if you want to do that, just know that you are able to do that, but I am not sure whether there will be any warning if you do it repetitively. Just check with WISE if you plan to do that. Lastly, don't harp on the $7.50 withdrawal fee too much. It is only $7.50. It is not the end of the world. How often do you withdraw money from your brokerage account? Even for me, I never withdraw from interactive brokers except for when I'm creating content for you guys. So so if you really need to withdraw for whatever reason, just withdraw and pay that $7.50. It is only about the cost of a Starbucks coffee Christmas edition and with caramel and walnut milk and maybe a little bit of confetti on top of it. My point is, most of us only withdraw because we need the money and when that need arises, the last thing you want is to not get back your money in a timely manner or having to go through a ton of hassle and whatnot. So for now, this withdrawal method is about as good as it can get for almost every interactive brokers user out there. Okay, I think I've pretty much covered everything in this video. All the useful links are down below. I would appreciate it if you can check them out. It helps me a lot with this channel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or DM me on Instagram. I will get back to you as soon as possible. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay invested, and as usual, I will see you in the next one.